Hey, I'm Bill Lawrence. I'm the creator of the show, and I'm. Well, Hi, I'm Johnny C. McGinley. I play Dr. Cox. The uh, we picked this episode because uh, uh, oh, I picked it anyways because that was one of Johnny C.'s strongest episodes. It's like one of the first times we decided that Dr. Cox should have a vulnerable side and should be somewhat human. You know, kind of make him more identifiable, more sympathetic, and stuff. And Johnny just nails this stuff. Uh, rooms. You, my friend, are an incompetent fool. Well, that's Krista Miller. That's Billy's wife in real life. Hey, I'm not allowed to comment on her performance. I am. She looks beautiful. What we established the week before is that Krista's brother, Brendan Fraser, has leukemia, and uh, he loves taking pictures, so we, we kept using the camera stuff in this one. And this is real. Zach almost vomited in this thing coming up, John. I don't know if you know that. Watch it. <laughs> Look at his kid. Uh, that's Franklin's kid. He's a good boy. You'll see Zach Braff about to puke here. Cool thing, Zach's holding the camera on himself with his arms there. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> Dad. You want to turn? Don't you dare. And this is pretty much how my wife would actually react to this. I like how spontaneous Brendan is. Yeah, isn't it cool to see him doing stuff with us? That I, I mean, it, he's one of the guest stars. I know you always said this. That just shocked me how easily he was able to kind of float into this and actually. Uh, well, it's a really stylized show. So some when actors commit, if they don't kind of commit to the style, they just they're left out in the cold. And <laughs> Brendan just came in. And it was like he was part of the ensemble. I think you got yourself the Christmas card right there. Yeah, you're funny. Look, I don't understand why you're sitting on a hospital gown. Because I don't like people to see my bum. So wear underwear. <laughs> you know how I feel about underwear. Every girl who came to our house in the mid-80s knows how you feel about underwear. <laughs> the sweatpants here. here comes a made-up line. I don't like that much freedom down there. It makes me tingle in my giblets. Uh, I don't know if John knows this, but you'll spend anywhere from a half an hour to an hour riffing on different words for testicles. And we came up with giblets on this one. Giblets is a win. Shut up, shut up, and definitely shut up. This is very Newt Rockney to me. It's one of the things I like. I know, but I enjoy saying it to you. Okay, here's the deal. If we're going to beat this thing, and we damn sure are, <laughs> we're going to do it one way and one way only. We're going to be a team. We're going to be a team, 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 team. You hear me? I hear you, Dr. Cox. I am so not speaking to you, Rhonda. Thank you. Rhonda. I forgot we did the one. I didn't know Rhonda was in there. Yeah. What do you say, children? This is back when we, remember this when we still use sound effects and stuff, too? With the gestures. I liked it with the punches, but I got sick of the sound effects. Oh, with the crotch shot. With Brennan in there. Yeah, it's, it's actually uh, Brennan's antique camera. And all the, in the show before, if you watch on the DVD, all the pictures were taken by Brennan. Remember all those black and whites? Yeah, yeah. Played by the actor Tony Schlub, also particularly fantastic in a film called Big Night. Congratulations, your DiMaggio-like streak for saying nothing even <laughs> remotely interesting is still alive. Oh, my God, it's embarrassing laughing at your own stuff. Something else on your mind? No, nope, just pretty much that leukemia thing. Ben, leukemia is a petty, ugly illness. This is weird because uh, we only tried this twice the first year, and the first time we thought it was a fluke. We always wondered whether or not on Scrubs we could do, like, uh, really dramatic you know, uh, uh, serious, uh, like, medical issues with which had some emotion to them and still be funny. And we made it work, and I think on that third episode where everybody yeah, died, and this with is the... the secretary from the West Wing. Yeah, and this is the only other time we tried that year. Again, this one, Brennan was very proud of his ability to do wheelchair tricks. God, Brennan's so good. I really dug what John was doing here because to be to barely show you that he's uncomfortable without uh, hitting you over the head with it, I think most sitcoms would have, would have had a real moment there and, and made him look like he was really uncomfortable and couldn't deal with this emotionally. But this one kind of just cruised by if you weren't paying attention. Yeah, it's a total denial. Chemotherapy looks harmless, but it's really poison pumped directly into your veins. You know, every time I got sick when I was a little kid, Mom would get me a Tonka truck. My wife looks hot with short hair. I gotta show her this. This is beautiful. Uh, I could easily get very inappropriate. Yeah. The earth. 
Earth mover. Can I see? Yeah, see with your eyes, man, not with your hands. That's what my cousin used to say to me every time I tried to play with one of his fucking. Do it with your eyes, not your hands. Yeah. See with your eyes, not with your hands, Bill. This is the true story. <laughs> this is mostly because my wife is a huge real world fan. I read this in the script. I had no idea what you were talking about. I didn't know the real world. Johnny C has puck. He didn't bail. If he did, he's a total wuss. And this is just improv and we kept it in. Uh, aside from the third episode this year, we, we really decided we're going to start trying to experiment with music and visual stylistic stuff to differentiate from normal sitcoms. And this is one of the first ones that, that we obsessed in the writer's room for like three days just saying what could be cool visually and uh, somebody came up with what if they were that we had three different people were in the same emotional place of feeling like they were left uh, oh, right. you know, high and dry and right. these guys all had to watch a, a videotape playback of the other person moving so that they could copy each other and a uh, cool piece of trivia the only one that screwed up was Judy because she did it backwards and uh, so we had to flip it flip the film Really? Yeah. Or maybe because you aren't as good as you thought you were. Either way, when you hit that low point, you have a choice. It's cool, though, isn't it? It's great. What I liked about this is instead of uh, this episode in particular, I mean, you're great in this scene, but instead of resolving it between you and Zach like we had all year, you know what I mean? We actually had him just see that you were trying to handle it, and then... Uh, yeah, it's pretty clean. Yeah. Uh, right here? Uh, Brennan's great. He's so clean. And then the end of this scene is pretty much just you two riffing on the subject of death, which is one of the key things that is going to become a theme is a lot of the writing on this show is uh, letting the actors make up stuff, and then we take credit for it later when everybody, anybody says it was funny. It's an excellent technique. <laughs> I love you, but you're, you're, you're a complete wuss. You know what people don't realize, man, is that one of the things that Brendan always was bummed out about, he's like, I didn't mind playing sick, but they made him so pale. You know what I mean? Because he's like, you got to look at yourself on TV, actually looking pale and ruddy and not, you know. Brendan should have won an Emmy for this. Yeah, he got rooked. People don't realize that he's a really good actor. It's a little bit like Cary Grant. He makes it look really easy. <laughs> 